Good morning, church. I hope you are all well this blessed Sunday, 1st of November, 2020. Now, I will be giving the children's talk today, and it is taken from Mark chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. The heading reads, The Parable of the Tenants in the Vineyard. Then Jesus spoke to them in parables. Once there was a man who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a hole for the winepress, and built a watchtower. Then he rented the vineyards to tenants and left home for a trip. When the time came to gather the grapes, he sent a slave to the tenants to receive from them his share of the harvest. The tenants grabbed the slave, beat him, and sent him back without a thing. Then the owner sent another slave. The tenants beat him over the head and treated him shamefully. The owner sent another slave, and they killed him, and they treated many others the same way, beating some and killing others. The only one left to send was a man's own dear son. Last of all, then he sent his son to the tenants. I am sure they will respect my son, he said. But those tenants said to one another, This is the owner's son. Come on, let's kill him, and his property will be ours. So they grabbed the son and killed him and threw his body out of the vineyard. What then will the owner of the vineyard do? asked Jesus. He will come and kill those tenants and turn the vineyard over to others. Surely you have read this scripture. The stone which the builders rejected as worthless turned out to be the most important of all. This was done by the Lord. What a wonderful sight it is. The Jewish leaders tried to arrest Jesus because they knew that he told this paragraph against them. But they were afraid of the crowd and so they left him and went away. Now, church, what can we learn from this? We can learn many of the things from this. The first of all, the owner sent the first servant, second servant, third servant, more servants, and then his own son. Now, when we look into this, we can find many things. We can see that the vineyard is the people of God. The owner of the vineyard is God, whenever God's people are seen as a vineyard. The fruit of the vineyard is faithfulness. This is what God's people owe to God. The servants are prophets, sent by God to call his people to obedience. The tenants are the leaders of Jerusalem. Finally, the beloved son is Jesus. Now, if we look at it in today's context, us as Christians, we are the vineyard of God. Not only that, but the world is the vineyard of God. Now the servants are the prophets sent by God who have been come to tell us to be obedient to God. Now in this Bible scripture, it refers to the tenants as the leaders of Jerusalem. But not only that, we can see us as tenants as well because sometimes we do things that do not please God and God is sad about this. However, there is hope because God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, just for us to save us. Now, church, I would like to end with a prayer. We'll all say this prayer together after three. One, two, three. Dear God, we thank you for sending your son, King Jesus, to save us and the world. Help us not to take Jesus for granted, but to always follow, love, and honor him. God, we remember our friends and family who do not know you. Please continue to work in them and they will get to know Jesus. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.